Last time we talked about a film with actors most American audiences know. Let's stick to that trend and talk about another hidden gem. Starring two martial arts legends. The first is Jet Li, who we mentioned in our last video. The other is one of the most, if not the most influential international action star, Jackie Chan, who was first introduced to American audiences in the 1980s in The Big Brawl, 1995's Realm in the Bronx, and perhaps his most well-known American role as Chief Inspector Lee in the Rush Hour franchise. Chan is not only known for his martial arts skills, he's also known for his performances of death-defying stunts in his movies. 2008's The Forbidden Kingdom pairs the two icons in their first feature film together. The film also stars Michael Agrano as the lead character Jason, Lee Yefei as Sparrow, and another martial arts star, Colin Chow, who we might remember from Flashpoint and the Matrix franchise as the Jade Warlord. The movie's premise has fantasy elements to it, as it centers around the legendary staff of the Monkey King. Monkey! In a botched store robbery, Jason, played by Argano, is thrown back into another time where he meets an immortal, played by Chan, a girl named Sparrow, played by Yefei, and a silent monk, played by Jet Li. And the four go on a quest to return the staff to the Monkey King to set him free of the Jade Warlord. The movie does have some cheesy elements to it, but the action and comedy, especially between Chan and Lee, blends nicely. The action scenes are both visually pleasing and intense, including a dream showdown between Chan and Lee, which is an awesome fight that shows both their immense talents. This fight and also the fight between Colin Chow and Jet Li can satisfy any hunger that's left over from the previous fight for any martial arts fan. The Forbidden Kingdom can be best described as a Chinese fiction film with an American element added. It is for the most part enjoyable and does get overlooked when there is talk about other martial arts films. You can find the film on several streaming apps. It's free on Max and Prime Video and can be rented for as low as $3.99. If I piqued your interest, give it a chance. Thanks again for watching and check out our website at sadisticpenguinstudios.com where we have blogs, movies, music, drafts, tomfoolery, and a penguin. Now go home and get your fucking shine box.